Oh, it's late and I can already see how this is gonna go. Um, hey, welcome to Bangs Audio Reviews. This is Chris Bangs. How you doing this evening? Um, I was talking to a coworker today about um, about AirPods and uh, how he was just tired of forking out 123 bucks every time one went south or lost one or whatever. And um, I was like, have you ever tried any uh, any wired IEMs? And he was like, no, he's like, I really, I just haven't really had, I, I don't know what to get. Like, I don't know what to buy, you know? And I was like, hey, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll do a review of one of my favorites tonight, post it to my YouTube channel. And uh, he's like, great, I'll subscribe. That's awesome. If you guys like these videos, please like and subscribe. I always forget to say that, so I'm saying it now. Anyway, uh, the promise was Truth Ears, X Critical, Project Zero Red, which I have been mentioning for a few days now um, that I was going to do a review. So here it is. Anyway, get to uh, what's in the box first. Desk is just a little bit messy right now. Um, first, the nice leather uh, carrying pouch. It's good, you know? I mean, it's, it's, it's got plenty of room in there for the IMs and the cable. You know, not super structured or anything like that. Um, also, we have this lovely black box, which is near impossible for me to get open. So you can watch me struggle with this for a minute. Um, oh yeah, here we go. The IMs, this is not the stock cable. I'm gonna show you that in a second. I tend to uh, like to throw the 4.4 Pentacons on my IEMs, but check these out. They're gorgeous. They are really, really well done. Um, I'm not gonna call them chunky. They're, you know, there's a little bit of thickness to them. Almost no weight, really. Uh, so no complaints there. The fit is comfy. Uh, let's see, get them right here, left and right, yeah, so, yeah, nice, nice stock tips. I try to do this with stock when I can, um, but I tend to tip roll and um, cable swap and, you know, all the things, so uh, I probably should have opened this before I started the video, but this is actually kind of a good example uh, of the packaging. It's it's not the easiest to get open. That's okay. There are the rest of the stock tips. So we've got silicone, uh, wide bore, narrow bore. I've got the medium narrow bore in there. There's also, it looks like, uh, pretty close to Dakoni foams uh, in the package as well, uh, in a medium size. The stock cable is uh, two pin, you know, 0.78 standard uh, with the L-shaped 3.5 termination. Um, it's okay. You know, there was a reason that I kind of just immediately switched out to the, the Zoni. Um, and, you know, I, it's just because I like the Zoni. I mean, I just kind of like everything that they make. I got a purple one today, um, which I'm excited to try on a, a pair of IEMs this evening. Um, sound, sound, yes. Uh, so the standard accoutrement. Um, as you would put it, uh, really, you know, more tips than some, not as many as others, but I'd say enough. And the tips are good. Uh, and I, I say that because like I tip roll, as I mentioned, and, um, it usually takes me a while to find the right tip that, you know, I like with the IEM. Um, but with this literally put on the first tip I tried. Uh, Marley. <laughs> come here. Come here, girl. Okay, dope. Um, yeah, this is going to be fun um, editing this, which isn't going to happen, so uh, sorry about that. Anyway, so the first tips I put on were the medium uh, size narrow bore silicone tips, and uh, the IEM sounded great with them. So that's what I went with. That's, what, that's kind of what I'm going to go with. Uh, when when I reviewed the Tri X HBB Kai, um, it gave me kind of a little bit of an idea of what 
he's about, right? Like, I, I think I labeled them super chill daily drivers, which is what they are, you know? Um, and, you know, I can sort of get that vibe from him, even though I don't know him personally. And this is complimentary. I mean, he just seems like kind of a super chill guy. Um, that's, you know, pretty probably pretty fun to hang out with. Um, when I put the Project Zero Red in, I feel like it's not just telling me what Crinical is about. It's almost telling me, telling me what he is like. Like, almost like his personality is sort of encapsulated in these. And let me get into why I say that. Critical can be critical, right? We all know that. Um, and he has every right and reason to be. I mean, the guy is, you know, kind of like the Shohei Otani of um, the IEM world. I mean, you know, he's a, he's a two-way player. He's a reviewer and a creator, um, which is, you know, it's amazing. I look up to the guy. I'm north of 50 and I'm too old to have, to have an idol or idolize anybody. But, you know, as close as you can come to that. Uh, that's how I feel about Critical and what he has done and continues to do uh, for the audiophile community and, and IMs in particular, like I think is, uh, he's, he's brought us to a better place and continues to do so. These IMs are no exception. Um, what I get out of them is this. They are more than technically proficient they are technically excellent. At the same time, they're fun as hell. So it's kind of like you can be serious about being fun or be fun about being serious. Um, you can be both. Hi, Marley. Thanks so much for contributing today. Um, he seemed to be able to capture that with this. Like he and Truth here, just um, the tuning on this is just really, it's great. It's interesting. It's great uh, in a lot of ways. So natural, um, good tonality, good timbre, great balance, great detail retrieval, fairly resolving, and yet, there's like gobs of bass and I'm not even using like this little, you know, 3.5, this little uh, 10 ohm resistor that he includes with it. I, I think they all come with it, but could be wrong. Um, but for $55, you get this extra little gadget here, which I'm planning on trying out on other high ends as well, um, just for the fun of it. Um, you don't need it. Not necessary. It's got enough bass on its own. Uh, I have listened to this through the FIO BTR7. I have listened to it through the iFi hip deck 2. I have listened to it with an Apple dongle, obviously before I switched to the Pentacon cable. Um, it's the first IEM that I have had uh, that I haven't had to, in fact, I would not recommend any EQ whatsoever. Zero. All I did was fuck it up when I EQ'd it. Like, even the tuning, like, on Power Amp, where it's, like, his tuning for this particular IEM, it sounded better without it. And that's not a knock on your critical. That's just, you know, that's just the truth. You don't need to I uh you don't need to EQ this IEM. Not one bit. Um and that says something. At fifty-five dollars, if you can get an IEM that is literally ready to go out of the box with everything you need, cable, tips, and you don't have to mess with it at all for it to sound its absolute best, that kind of that kind of says it all. That's what it is. It's it's perfect for for fifty five dollars. It's freaking perfect. Um, I have a couple of pairs of IEMs now 
that make me think, this is what it must be like to have a, a pair of IEMs that costs like five times as much without having to pay for it. So the other set that I have is the uh, Kiwi Ears Quintet, which I think is about 220, which makes me go, I bet this sounds just about as good as a thousand dollar IEM. For critical, I think we can go ahead and maybe hit that nine or 10 times the price. I think that there are probably four and $500 IMs out there that struggle to perform as well as these do. Um, these are obviously getting a highly recommended. And to my good buddy at work, uh, I'm going to bring these in for you uh, with the regular cable on so you can just use the Apple dongle or the USB-C dongle or whatever you need. So you can just play it off of your phone because that's all you need. You just need your phone and a dongle and you're set. Um, yeah, these are fantastic. Uh, my hat's off to, to Critical for creating this IEM. I'm, I'm really, really impressed and I'm out. Good night.